Hi, I'm Naomi Kyle, and this is IGN News. Speaking during a panel about NASA's projects to search for alien life in habitable worlds, the agency's head scientists predict that humanity is teetering on discovering signs of alien life. According to Space.com, NASA chief scientist Ellen Stofan said, I think we're going to have strong indications of life beyond Earth within a decade, and I think we're going to have definitive evidence within 20 to 30 years. We know where to look. We know how to look. In most cases, we have the technology, and we're on a path to implementing it. And so, I think we're definitely on the road. Former astronaut and associate administrator for NASA's science mission directorate, John Grunsfeld, believes we're one generation away of finding signs of life in our own solar system or on a planet around a nearby star. Grunsfeld added recent discoveries hint that the Milky Way galaxy potentially hosts a plethora of life-fostering environments. For instance, this year's discoveries revealed that Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede, may have a huge subterranean saltwater ocean, and Saturn's sixth largest moon Moon, Enceladus is the most habitable body ever discovered outside of Earth. Using the NASA's Kepler satellite, astronomers calculate that there could be billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy that may have one to three Goldilocks planets, each in the habitable zone. The Goldilocks region around a star that makes it just right for life to potentially exist on a planet. Paul Hertz, director of NASA's astrophysics division, said during the panel that the Milky Way is a soggy place. We can see water in the interstellar clouds from which planetary systems and stellar systems form. We can see water in the disks of debris that are going to become planetary systems around other stars, and we can even see comets being dissipated in other solar systems as their star evaporates them. As for future endeavors to find evidence of life on these soggy environments, NASA is planning a $2.1 billion mission to Jupiter's ice moon Europa in 2022 to study its habitability and plumes of water vapor. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is slated to launch in 2018 to suss out atmospheres of nearby super-Earths for gases produced by life using a method called transit spectroscopy. A proposed wide-field infrared survey telescope that searches for biosignature gases on small rocky exoplanets may launch in the mid-2020s if given the go-ahead. For all your news from space, stay tuned to IGN.